Hi Capricorn, this is Shah uh, from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back uh, Cyber Angel and Angels and thank you very much for your support in the general and in the romance readings. There's lots of new things happening on the channel, there's loads of new reviews and I'm using uh, two cards or decks from those uh, reviews. And I thought I love these cards, this is Tarot, to clarify the love cards, romance of the angels and they're so beautiful and sweet that it just drops off the cards, the happiness, the sweetness, the innocence, um, but it will give you a message. Now if you would like to see um, this uh, deck then go to the playlists and have a look at like I said, I f the box was next to me. Go and have a look at the Tarot of the Kingdoms. And have a look at the review. Okay, so there we go. I'll just put it there so perhaps you can see it. Uh, and it's pink and green and blue and the sun is shining. So I hope the sun will shine for you too in September as this is your September romance. And if anybody new has landed on the deck, uh, channel, uh, welcome and uh, I hope you will enjoy this reading. Now the first card that you have for September in the first week, we are calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. There you go. So that is for you Capricorn. And you've got the Magician. You can actually make it happen. The Magician is number one, so that is a new beginning. This could definitely be with your um, affirmations and manifestations that you are making it happen. But you also have to get out there and get noticed. So use your talents, your gifts and don't be elusive and uh, be your true self. Shine like the rainbow. Make this beginning, new beginning happen. Okay, you've got the gifts and the talents. You can look beautiful. You can uh, laugh and show emotions. That's the cups. And then we've got action, getting out there, being noticed. Getting what you want is the one's fire and then air, use your wisdom and your charm. So there could be a definitely uh, your affirmations could be confirmed in the first week of um, September. And of course be more playful with all these colors. Let your inner chi child come out. Have fun. Be open. Open your solar plex. Open your heart open your mind to new ideas. In the second week we have playfulness. To recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. In other words let your inner child come out. Don't be too serious. Then we have the nine of earth and this looks like a Christmas tree but these cards are so wonderful. They're very c colorful, abstract sometimes, and sometimes they're fairy tale like. This is also a pagan sort of deck, or a wicker deck, but I love the artistry, the vibrant colors, they just jump off and make you happy of the card. Now you've got the nine of earth, which is the nine of pentacles. So there will be money coming in, something that is durable, something that will last and for long term. There is an ending to a cycle. Like I said, there is an ending to being alone. As you've got the magician, now you might have the money or the means to um, take care of yourself. Um, buy a new dress, buy, buy new makeup, make yourself look good. And if you're a man, it could be the same for you. Buy this new suit or buy some vibrant uh, colors of clothing. Don't just walk around in dull jeans. Go and buy a pair of red jeans. Make yourself look sexy. Woohoo! 
or an other color and in the third week we've got the ace of air and look at that dandelion and the baby in the center of the dandelion and the ace of air is the ace of swords new beginnings this could be with a gemini a libra or um, an uh, aries you could be communicating saying sweet soft nothings you've got victory Whoa. you will be getting to know each other and be clear about what you want don't be sharp tongued watch out how you say things if you if you're going to get a Gemini Capricorn you've got a harem because they are flexible they can change into any kind of mood they can be sullen they can be sad they can be happy in the next moment so make sure that you say the things the right way and if you do meet one of these people the air people then they love communication so let them talk as much as you do learn to listen as well because that's how you get things clear I should have read this card okay because this is the clarifier of this card and religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing or spiritual path but I have with this card I also get the feeling not your not only your upbringing or your spiritual background or path but also your nationality you might be meeting somebody um, from a different nationality or you might be going out or hooked up with somebody from a different nationality and sometimes that can cause friction so you need to communicate because the air does stand for communication now again um, the persons that um, uh, I see in this deck is a Gemini and the magician does stand for Aries or a Gemini as well so Gemini is prominent here so you might be meeting your soulmate which is a Gemini and then in the fourth week we've got true love yes you have communicated with each other and you've come to an understanding that true love is blind but true love doesn't only see the negative things but also the positive or rather not only the positive because look at the pink from the cards there's a lot of pink here not because the cards are only pink because they're also green and blue and red but the ace of swords is more uh, pink than anything else so make sure you use your wisdom and your communication correctly and open your mind that somebody can be different and try don't try to understand you can but accept um, who you fall in love with but don't look through pink or rose colored glasses that is the message that I'm getting be clear don't um, the magician um, uh, is uh, how do you call it illusion or del delusion illusion uh, don't make anything uh, uh, an illusion be open and clear and honest so that you do not have to fall back into sadness because it, you weren't honest open up and if you meet somebody for the first time you don't have to say everything uh, uh, the first time it's also keep a mystery but be honest you don't have to tell your whole life story in the first date this is a romance of a lifetime once you learn to communicate and you know what the other wants and what you want and you've um, uh, talked about that because the swords ace of swords is there then it will become clear and you can grow towards each other now you have the four of swords like I said open up your solar plex open up your mind it might not be the person that you expected to be or that you want it could be somebody totally wow even better than you even imagined so open your mind to new ideas new uh, chances new way of uh, dealing with somebody you might just meet somebody that you're ne that 
like if you always went out with an air sign or a water sign, uh, sorry, a water sign or a fire sign, then now you might just enjoy the air sign more than the wa uh, fire sign. Like you've got fire here, it could be an air sign or an earth sign. They're slower, the earth signs, and they're uh, more steady, and the air signs can flutter like a butterfly uh, from one subject to another subject. They are creative, um, they use th their minds, they're really sharp, but they can be also judgmental. But don't take any notice of that, just ask what do you mean and talk about it so that you can get their perspective and perhaps help them to change their perspective and say that, for example, Yes, you are a Gemini, but I don't look at you as just a Gemini or an Aquarian or Libra, because we are made out of more planets, uh, more uh, star signs. We've got the moon sign and the rising sign, and this is what the air signs love. They love to twig your mind, so learn how to twig theirs. It can be hard work. <laughs> The overall energy is the Two of Cups. So yes, you will meet your soulmate, but you have to be open to do that. And you will be in emotional balance. Now the card that we have here is Seek Understanding. Wow, there you go. That relates really nicely with religious factors. Okay, something is playing off in your relationship or right from the start if you meet somebody new, be clear. Don't see things through rose-colored glasses. Seek understanding, communication, and that is what you do. You try to get to know each other. Words may be used by you as a calming balm in the face of antagonism don't get antagonized and don't be antagonistic yet your skills as a cooperative listener will also be needed that's what I said as at such times nothing is even meant to break your spirit rather it is meant to liberate you from false ideas you may be holding about yourself and I say an other what you are in need of of learning is to meet opposition with love rather than to shrink in the face of it. Tackle the situation directly the swords and with common sense, thought, mind, wisdom, while also keeping to an honorable measure of compassion for the other renewal is under way. There you are. And when I see this, this is like in the old days we have that we had these in in uh, Holland and the musicians used to play on that or they were used as tea houses. So I suggest go and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with somebody and talk, get to know each other and be calm. Like I said, don't use sharp words, because the swords cut on both ways, but they like they like to twig your mind, and they, they want clarity, honesty, they don't want any illusions, they want to know who they're dealing with, so they can really fall in love, because once an air sign falls in love, they fall in love, hook, line, and sinker. Sink improving health the angels say your health will improve of course your health will improve once you have your love your soulmate where is it uh, the two of cups where is it here yes your wish is going to come true because you've got the star and you are in your strength because you've got number eight number eight of hearts eight of cups you want something new. Yes, you can have something new, but take your time about it. 
and if you are in a relationship already then talk things through so that there could be a new beginning refresh your relationship your friendship twig it talk to each other communicate your wish can come true you can have adventure you can have excitement so you are in your powerhouse and your money house and you've got the nine of pentacles here so you will have the means to make this durable and for long term you've got number 16 which is a seven that means good luck luck is on your path definitely throughout the whole month what with the magician what with the nine of pentacles end of being alone end of difficulties financially or otherwise you're going in for long term something you're going to understand each other okay it takes two to tango we've got the two there okay so be patient listen don't always be the one that rabbits on rabbit 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 and not listening it might be because you come from a different culture and you can you're the mother of the house or whatever um, you are and they talk there like in Italy they they can really get riled up and they're not even fighting and we foreigners don't understand but take it calm and easy tranquilo that's what I'm hearing and I'm going like this and you're not seeing it tranquilo it can be true love look at these cards are so positive but you have to get out there and put yourself out there if you are alone and if you're hooked up then go and take care of yourself and put yourself out there for your other half let your inner child come out be more fun don't take life too serious okay I hope you can see all the cards there you go I hope you have enjoyed this beautiful reading and I hope you have a beautiful month so take care and be blessed and please share and like and stay safe and stay well love you all and remember I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and if you would like to have an extensive reading privately then you'll find all the information below take care and be safe ciao ciao